Welcome back to Wings Motor Co. It's time to get the judge back together. Stick around. So before we get onto the Judge motorcycle, just wanted to give you guys a reminder. We only have just a couple weeks left to the end of September, 2023, where each person that goes to our Patreon and signs up will receive a free sticker pack. Also, any orders that are going out all the way through the end of September, 2023, will also get a free sticker pack thrown in there. Our Patreons, man, we love you guys. We love what you do. That's why we give you 20% off of every order on the website. Go check it out, winsmotorco.com. We got hats, stickers, shop rags, t-shirts, all kinds of cool stuff, all for you guys, not to include all the cool, awesome Triumph parts that we have there. Now, let's get on this motorcycle. All right, so on the last episode of the Judge Motorcycle, this 1950 Triumph, we showed you guys how to build a homemade parts washer and we went over to our friend's house, Rick Carr, over in St. Petersburg. We've been cleaning and getting all these old 1950 Triumph parts ready to go back into this and we are now ready to reassemble. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna get onto the gearbox. We're gonna assemble that original factory Triumph rigid gearbox get it into the frame so that we can continue the process of getting this bike ready, hopefully fingers crossed for the Georgia Grundle run. We gotta get new tires mounted up on there. We gotta get that engine all reassembled. We have a lot of work to do if we are going to make that deadline. So let's go check out this gearbox. All right, so what we have here is the new gear cluster for the Judge. Unfortunately, when we opened up that gearbox, we found tons of sand, water and what I thought to be maybe paraffin wax. I have no clue. It was in really rough shape, but I was able to source another whole gear cluster because that transmission, that gearbox, it was rusted beyond repair and I just didn't want to work through all of the hassle. So I went in my stash of things and grabbed out a gearbox and luckily the inside of that one was in really great shape. So. We have a full donor gear set to go into the original gearbox case. We're gonna use all of the original covers, everything. So it's just gonna be new internals, which is great because we wanna make sure that this thing is definitely dependable and rideable. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna get this gearbox all put together and ready to go back into the frame so that we can get those wheels and tires off and we can get those over and get those mounted up. <sighs> all work all play, all fun here at Weems Motor Co. and nothing more I enjoy than working on these old Triumphs. So with that, let's get to work. All right, so if you've been around Weems Motor Co. and we've been doing this for about going on almost three years now, you've seen us do these gearboxes before and I'm not gonna bore you with a how-to video and because there's plenty of those around out there on YouTube on how to put these things together. I'm just gonna stop periodically and talk about a couple of things that I do when I'm building these old gearboxes just so we can uh, speed through this process a little bit. So let's go ahead and get to work. All right, so one of the first parts of the process is getting a new bearing into that main shaft housing there. Uh, always take the bearings, throw them in the freezer for a couple hours, get them nice and cold so it actually reduces the size of the outside diameter. And we're gonna heat up the ends or the outside of this case so that that bearing will slide right in with just a little bit of pressure. So let's heat it up. All right, so the next portion to put in is the seal. Now, something to note is that these seals have two sides. You have that closed side and then you have the inner side with the spring around it. So you wanna make sure that that spring is facing down to inside the cases. Now, this seal actually seals around the main drive sprocket. So you see like this machine finish right here. So that seal goes right over the top of it and it prevents the oil from coming out of the gearbox and spilling out on the inside of your primary. So that's what we're gonna do, install this. 
Uh, simply just take a small little hammer and just kind of tap around the outside nice and even going down in there. Um, and I have to say that this hammer is probably one of my favorite tools that I have. This was belonged to my grandfather. So every time I pull this out of the box, I just have all of those super cool memories about my grandpa. Maybe you have a special tool. Maybe you have a favorite tool. So we're going to stop right now while I'm installing this seal and jump down in the comments and let me know what is your favorite tool that you have in your toolbox. Let's get this installed. So before we start loading all the gears into the gearbox casing, I just wanted to show you a comparison. So I didn't have the video on when we took this gearbox apart, but this is what came out of it. So if you could tell, that is a severely corroded, horrible gear cluster that I wouldn't use on my worst enemy's bike. So comparison to the nice new flashy shiny gear cluster set that we have going into it now this is just the main shaft we also have the lay shaft going in but i just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison before we start loading all these in and those pieces are not seen ever again until the next guy takes this thing apart so let's start throwing these things together Alright, so something important to note, on these early rigid pre-unit Triumph gearboxes, they didn't use gaskets on the inner cover or the outer cover. They simply used gasket sealer. And when you're working with old cases, you want to make sure that those two joining plates are going to be in good shape. You don't want nicks or mars or scratches or things like that. And these are actually in really great shape. So. Normally, I would go ahead and throw a gasket on there because the later ones had those, but um, I think we're going to try a little uh, experiment right now to see if the original way was probably the best way. So, got some gasket sealer, going to throw some on the inside of that inner cover, slide it on home, torque it down, and keep our fingers crossed that we don't have any leaks. But it's an old Triumph. Chances are it's going to leak somewhere. We'll see where it leaks from. Let's do it. All right, so as we go to put this inner cover in, this is probably the most frustrating part for a person who's doing a Triumph four-speed transmission, and that's called indexing it. The procedure is, is as we slide that inner cover on, we have our indexer on the side over here that indexes on the shifter cam plate and you have to put it on the right tooth, otherwise you'll never be able to get the gears to shift properly. So, here's my little trick. Watch what I do. So here's the trick. As you're sliding it in, don't let it seat all the way down. Leave the gap probably about an eighth of an inch, and this little thing will start to engage back there on that shifter cam plate. So you want it to where it's all the way to the top. And as you slide it in, you want to have it one tooth off. And it's kind of a fill situation. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult than others, and sometimes they just go right home. But right there is where you want it, and you want to be able to seat this all the way back, torque everything down, and get that good seal on it. Let's knock it out.
All right, so not bad. One completely rebuilt Triumph pre-unit rigid four-speed gearbox. Now, time to get it into the frame. Super stoked about this as this is the first rebuilt part that is going back into this thing. And I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully you guys too. Let's get this thing mounted in. And just like that, we have one rebuilt gearbox inside the Judge. Well, I have to say that looks pretty good, feels really good. I know it's gonna work really good too. So with that, we're gonna wrap up the video today. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you are new around here, jump down and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the video, hit that thumbs up, turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.